YouTube, this is Randy0136 coming straight at you, and this is my DVD review of ROH's Eye of the Storm. This is a fantastic DVD, so much fun, totally enjoyed this. First of all, you, ha you end up with them at a snowstorm, and instead of canceling the show, because a lot of the guys didn't show up, they just throw decide to throw together a friggin' tournament. The winner of the tournament, which had a purpose, gets a shot at the, the ROH World title, which was fantastic. Okay, so you start off here with Brian Danielson versus Rocky Romero. Fast-paced, hard-hitting, a lot of technical wrestling. They were on the mat. You had a bunch of friggin' submission moves, people getting out, people getting out, you know, friggin' from um, ankle locks to to arm bars to friggin' knee holds to, oh my lord, and it just went back and forth, and it was friggin' awesome. Um, Danielson went for the surfboard at one point, and Romero got out and put on the ankle lock. It was crazy. At the end, uh, Romero tapped out to the arm bar. There was a lot of knees, a lot of elbows. It was just a fantastic, pure wrestling match. Going to give it four solid stars. Totally enjoyed this match. Very, very fun. Then you go to Delirious versus Kevin Steen. Another fantastic match. Delirious was all up and all anxious. You know, shook his hand, runs around the ring, goes to shake it again. Um, you know, they did, had a lot of good spots. Um, Kevin Steen ends up getting the win. Um, I give this 3.25 stars. So then the next round is going to be American Dragon versus Kevin Steen. In the second bracket, we have Austin Aries versus Ole, 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 Ole. El Generico. This was a fantastic match. A lot of pure friggin' wrestling here. Aries hit the sick brain, brain buster. Only got a two count. Uh, the crowd was totally into this. Aries had his nose busted open. El Generico hit some friggin' crazy moves. Friggin' some, like, uh, Aries would go for his couple drop kicks. Uh, Generico would hit, hit some really cool blocks. He ended up getting a three count and a roll up, which, you know, it works. It works. It was all right. But, yeah, so I'll give it 3.75 stars. It could have been a little bit better, but it was still fantastic. This whole show was fantastic. Then we had Go Shizaka versus Necro Butcher. Love this. It was just hard hitting. A lot of power friggin' moves. Oh, wow. This is, uh, I believe, Go's debut in America. And he just was fantastic. You know, he just was totally into this. I, I bet he had no clue when he showed up for the card. He was going to be wrestling three times that night, two times that night, or one time that night, or whatever he ended up wrestling. We'll get into that a little bit later. But it was fantastic. Zazaki gets the win. Oh, friggin' nice 3.75 star match. Very, very enjoyed it a lot. Then we go to the Larry Sweeney show. Larry Sweeney show was fun. It was Larry Sweeney telling jokes. Talking about, you know, that guy's wearing a flannel. That guy's wearing this. Don't wear my shirt. It's embarrassing. I'm going to Manhattan to get laid. What are you doing? It was hilarious. It was funny. Dempsey came out with Shane Hagendorf. It was a great, great segment. I totally, totally enjoyed it. Fun, 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 fun. And then we go to American Dragon versus uh, Kevin Steen. This was priceless. Fantastic match. Drop dead, just wrestling, 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 and more wrestling. Hard hitting. Danielson was at the top of his game. He had a bad leg injury. At one point, he gets super pissed. He rips off the tape, and he's just kicking some serious ass. He gets into, I believe it was a half crab. It might have been a whole crab. He ends up tapping out because his uh, leg was shot and he didn't want to lose his title match the next night, which is great psychology, which leads into, yes, this is how it works. I'm not going to, you know, I will wrestle all night long with you, but I got something a bigger. I want to become the first two-time, two-time ROH champion. So I'm going to tap and I'm going to submit and I'm going to go. So that worked out great. Then we have Gosha Zaki versus El Generico. Fantastic friggin' match. Once again, these guys were friggin' crazy all over the place. The, the chop, little chop storyline, it was like a Ric Flair chop fest. And then, uh, friggin' Shuizaki, like, friggin' flying all over, and fucking Gen Generico's friggin' going to the top rope, and they're just countering each other, and at the end they shook hands. Go Shizaki wins, wins the match. It was friggin' fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Four solid stars. Okay, and then we go into some other stuff. You had a four-corner survival match. Human Tornado versus Jason Blade versus uh, Peely Prima versus Mitch Franklin. It was okay. It was decent. Nothing too special. You, you can go rent the DVD. You can buy the DVD. You can check that one out. I'm going to give it 2.25 stars. I'm not even going to tell you who wins. That way you can have a little, some, a little surprise when you watch the DVD. And then uh, 
Oh yeah, and at the end of that, friggin' uh, Human Tornado cut the little promo about Lacey and his Human Tornadoes, and it was just hilarious. It was very funny, very, very enjoyable. What very, very good segment. Okay? And then, uh, we ended up with, um, it was, uh, Ruckus and Jigsaw versus Jimmy Jacobs and Zach Gowan after Jimmy set a super friggin' promo, um, for Age of the Fall. It was just fantastic. Very good. Um, again, I don't want to tell you who wins this one, but friggin' Zach Gowan with his one leg pulled off some really cool moves. It was a decent match. It wasn't fantastic. I expected more, but I'll give it two and a half stars, you know. I can tell you who wins, but then again, I'm already going through and telling you the whole tournament, so why tell you the whole tournament? Okay, so at the very end, so now we get Gozazaka versus Steen in a fantastic final match. It was just pure hitting. It was just, they did chops, they did drop kicks. The psychology in this match where um, Go was friggin' working on uh, Steen's knee, where Steen was working on Go's neck. It totally played a picture. Even though one of the announcers said he's working on Steen's left knee, and the guy on ECW now, the guy that uh, can't really, whatever, he, he sucks, whatever his name is, that took, uh, you know, what's his face's place. Yeah, what's his face with what's his face with what's his face. I'm telling a really good story. But Melame or whatever his name is, he also said the left part of the body, and they say you never name a part of the body, but this guy named a part of the body, so I was kind of laughing. But back to the movie story. So Kevin Steen... Goes his locker, they're working on the parts, they're friggin' chopping, friggin', like, he fucking leaves, uh, Kevin Steen goes over the top rope, fucking lands on the apron, reaches his, ranks his neck, goes his off, he's in the ring, chopping Steen's knee, chopping Steen's knee, and Steen is totally selling that his leg is beat the shit out of him. He hits a fucking, he hits one package fucking power, a package power bomb, I believe that's what it's called. I was gonna say package power driver, but I believe it's a package power bomb. Hits one of them, Zazaki kicks out at two, couldn't believe it. I was like, holy motherfuck of God, no way! No way! And then freaking, he kicks out, so he hits him with another one, gets the three count. Uh, El Generico comes running out the back, they fucking celebrate, they fucking have a great, great fucking little promo of him going out, telling the little thing that he's Mr. Wrestling. But overall, this is fantastic. Um, for that match, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say four and a quarter. I'm gonna have to just say it. It was fucking fantastic. It was like, booyah to the 10th power. The CBD overall, I'm gonna give it an 8.75 out of 10, but just psychology in the wrestling, psychology in the match, psychology of Danielson tapping out and not losing his leg for the next night, the psychology of them setting up a tournament when they lost half their people, people actually working on body parts and trying to injure an opponent for future whatever, you know what I mean? It was just incredible. The crowd was into it. Great show. 8.75 out of 10. I totally recommend it. One of the best pure tournaments I've seen in a long, long time. So this is Brandy0136 signing out and saying booyah and enjoy Backlash tonight and you guys have a great evening. Bye.